do I use the word Tantra for what I do? Well, it's very simple. If you look around me, you see there is an altar over there. There is a statue of Shiva. I call myself Shiva. This is a temple. It's not an office. When I go back to the Himalayas, when I go back to these caves, what do you think is happening inside of me? It's a mystical experience that is guided by the flow, by the stream of yoga and Tantra coming together. And of course, there are lots of other traditions that I'm embracing, mystical traditions with which I work, but the Tantric one is a very central one. And I don't experience it through books, okay? I don't experience it through ancient scriptures. It's a unification inside of me that happens when I'm high in the mountains in the Himalayas, or when I go and jump into a river here in the jungles of Bali, or when I'm having a sensual experience, a connective, deep, profound, merging experience with another human being, or when I simply sit down and meditate. So the totality of what I'm doing here is being inspired by the stream of energy that I call the field of Tantra.